So the next overlay we're looking at is the backgrounds overlay. Why would we want to use that? Let's have a look and see if this applies to you. It might not, but um, there's some cool features in here. So if I'd got myself up here and maybe I was doing an interview with somebody, I'd got a guest coming in or a second camera, maybe I wasn't cropped in. So I've unticked the crop split screen. By default, we just get this black background behind us and um, we can actually change that now. So I've already got one made here that is just my uh, wooden brick wall behind me. And if I, rather than dragging it onto the window here like we've done with our image overlays, I drag it into showing backgrounds. And now that comes in behind me and we can have something back there. Now, maybe that doesn't really apply. Maybe I come over here to Snapper and I want to create something. I come down to this YouTube thumbnail. It's just the right size that we need. I can say start from scratch and I'm going to select a background and a pattern. And all of this lot here could be a background for me. Maybe I like the idea of something like this. So I could just literally save this and download it as a high res PNG. And now I can drag that in in the same way I just did into this backgrounds area. And look, we've got a really cool background. Now, even if it's just me in here, some of you guys like to put a frame around this rather than the camera going right to the edge. So look what I can do in camera effects. If I uh, zoom this out a little bit, all of a sudden I can put a frame around myself uh, very easily like that. And it's just that background that we've got back there. And I can just turn that on or off, gone back to the wooden one. Yeah, so what do you think? So that's really where it would be the idea of if you were playing something over the front and whereas in the past you just had that black background, you can now put something in here. You can actually play a little video clip behind it if you want. So I've got a little a disco ball clip here that I can loop around in the background if I want to. And let's uh, zoom myself out a bit more. Um, <laughs> we could have that going if we wanted. Just know that that's a video that's constantly playing in the background, even if you've got scenes where you can't see it. So uh, it is going to put a lot of strain on your computer. Maybe you fancy a nice psychedelic one like that. I'm sure your audience would love you for it. <laughs> but there you go. That's some options that you've got with this uh, showing overlays in the backgrounds area. So it's now not coming over on the front. It is right there back behind this main image. Go have some fun. Let us know how you get on with it.